All right, guys, this is my ram pump that I built. Supposedly this thing will pump water up over the hill to my pond. Um, there's a couple check valves, a couple on-off valves. We got the pressure tank. And I'm going to hook up a black plastic line from my overflow to that. So we'll go from 8 gallons a minute to hopefully a nice slow trickle up over the mountain to the pond. So stick with us. What's up guys, Freezer Mountain Outdoors here. Uh, got something cool to show you guys today. Uh, our pond's been getting low, so we just haven't had enough rain here to keep the level up high enough where the kids can jump off the diving board and stuff. So I did a bunch of research online on these ram pumps that are supposedly able to pump water up over a hill like, let me see here, sorry up over that hill from down in here. So I can hear it working right now. It's set overnight. It's freezing temperatures right now. So I, I never thought this, this thing would work overnight. So let me walk you down here and show you what we're working with. Alright guys, this is running off of zero electricity. Um, I got a little bit of video building it, but there's a couple really good uh, people on YouTube to build them. Um, I, I absolutely didn't think this would work, so I didn't do a lot of recording. But, as you can see... We got an on-off valve up front here. All this water is coming in from the overflow off my spring. It's coming in here. The on off valve actually froze right now. There's ice all over it. Uh, this is a spring check valve. If you use a spring check valve, you've got to take the spring out. That's the key. Here's another check valve right here. This one, these have arrows on them. The arrow's pointing down on this one, and it's pointing this way on this one. This right here is our pressure tank, which is covered in ice. But uh, I, I have a small leak up on the top because I thought that there had to be an air vent. Um, I'll have to replace that. It's working right now. So what I want to do is I want to take you guys up to the pond. I'll start. I'll start the video here, and we'll walk up to to see how high. The elevation is and also it's about 150 feet of hose that it's pumping up through so running off no electricity and just the water coming out of my spring overflow we're pumping clear up over the hill into the pond so stick with me guys I'd say we got about a five, six foot drop here. Water's running down the one inch black pipe, going in here. And two valves, the pressure tank, which I drilled a hole in and it, it's leaking, or else I'd probably get a little more flow. Here we go. All right, so we came from down there in the woods, up this hill here. So we're a good 40, 50 feet above where the pump's at. Here's the hose running. There's Sasquatch, he, he protects the pond. But as you can see here, guys, this has been going all night, and you can see how cold it is here. But that's a good constant drip. Like I said, I think I can get a little more pressure and a little more volume out. But, uh, the pond's pretty close to where it needs to be here. 
I'd like to see it get to that that overflow pipe, but there it is, guys. No electricity. It's been running all night. You see it's frozen all the plants below it there. Pretty cool stuff.